So far, 2009 hasn't been that kind to the businessmen in Kent. So many are taking advantage of a show like this, Kent 2020 Vision 2009. It's the fourth year this exhibitor's show has been in existence, with 400 of them showcasing what they can do for the business in the street. It makes sense that more than 4,000 people are going to come and visit them and meet that potential business partner. But rather than reflecting on the economic downturn, more are looking forward, which has to be good news for the industry. I don't believe that it's any good just sitting and worrying about, oh, you know, things are really bad and focusing on the bad. I think we need to be positive and we need to look ahead. We're in such a fantastic position, London having won the bid, so many contract opportunities and even there's so many indirect opportunities there as well because if you can't get something directly through the supply chains, there's always thinking outside the box, the tourism and hospitality industry. I mean, for Kent in itself, I think um, the Kent County Council are doing an excellent job. Um, having won the Beacon status, I think it's phenomenal. And me living in Kent, I'm so proud of that. And I think they're doing something fantastic. And they've got so many different projects that they're working on as well to help small businesses. So I think we're really lucky and we just need to be positive and pick the positives in any situation really. In some respects, dare I say the media, perhaps we, we, we do sort of uh, over-dramatise sometimes the uh, negative part of uh, the recession that we are, we are in, but I think that it is important that we do continue to work hard, um, keep doing the right things and look forward to, to getting through this as quickly as we can. Well, you should be looking forward. It's, it's very difficult sometimes to feel optimistic, and, and I'm not the first person to have said, I hope there's going to be green shoots at some stage. But you've got to do something about it. You've got to do something about it now. So what's great is actually seeing so many people here today looking and talking to other Kent businesses. And I think if we want to get out of the mess we're in at the moment, actually, the one thing we've got to look at is to try and support each other, try and help each other out of this mess of uh, the economic mess we're in. The business will actually pick up especially throughout the summer, uh, but we had quite a good January, February already, so you just need to get out there and do things, move with the times, um, and it's been very positive actually. We've, had, we've seen a lot of uh, foreign travellers coming over, a lot of visitors from Europe, uh, because of obviously the pound and the, uh, the exchange rate, etc., and it's, um, it's been really good. We're trying to do um, some more creative things to try and uh, support businesses in the city. Um, we're doing the Big Eat Out, which involves about 20 to 30 restaurants in Canterbury. And it means that people that are coming to the festival, who have, have tickets to see some of our events, can go and have a two or three course meal for £10 in any of those selected restaurants. So that's something that we're doing in a sort of more art side that's a bit more creative and trying to help businesses and, and yeah, be positive about the festival and about people being out and about. We've got to find business and you've got to develop and move forward. And so looking at new ideas and meeting new people, it's a really good thing to do. And an, an exhibition like this is fantastic because you meet, quite frankly, you meet people you never expect to meet. I'm flabbergasted with how, what a great success it is, is today. I've been talking to businesses all, all morning and they keep saying, yes, I've got a customer, I've formed a partnership. I've got real business out of today. I've just overheard somebody in the corridor down there saying, yes, I found two new agents this morning. And it's just wonderful to hear people doing business and moving, moving, moving forward. Kent 2020 2009 certainly appears to have exceeded all expectation as far as the numbers arriving here today. It certainly shows the positivity of those businesses here exhibiting at the Detling Showground. So here's to 2010. Julie Maddox for your Kent TV.